cat being curious, huh? Well, you know what they say about cats and curiosity. You do know, do you? Well, anyway. Hey everybody, it's Josh again! Welcome back to Tribal Hunter! In the last episode, we started off the Crystal Caves and found, fought a bunch of Crystal Robots. And then, we actually got to fight the fox that we saw after beating Boris. We fought Katsu! And we won. But anyway, in this episode, we are going to continue through these Crystal Mines, because it seems there's still something waiting at the end. Even though Katsu wasn't the real boss. Seems something else is guarding the treasure. So we must head further. We are now deep in the cave. And look at that! More crystal robots! So with that, I'd say we're actually getting pretty close to the treasure since we're already pretty deep in the cave. First we gotta get rid of the rest of these robots. It's also kinda cool how the crystals glow a little bit. It's a little bit hard to see because it's so dark. Watch out for the drills. We got another crystal robot. Okay. There's another mushroom hiding. There it is. Ah, yes, there we go. Alright. Okay, more than another crystal robot down. Crystal hubbar. And then going this way, you'll activate a shortcut back to the entrance of the cave. We must continue further, because we haven't found the treasure yet. I'm trying to see if I can use my suction to suck up the coins, but I'm too far away. And of course, we got another pig bomber. And another crystal blaster. There we go. Moving on to pig gourmets and a pig bomber. So now that we've made it through, it's now... Oh wait, first one more enemy, and then a checkpoint. There we go. This is kind of funny, is the items seem to go off screen. And if they go off screen, you can't collect them anymore, because they just like disappear. Yeah. I'm trying to make sure I have an empty stomach for this fight, because in the next fight there's not really anything you can use to get your energy up. Up ahead is the boss of World 3, the Crystal Golem's Chamber. Intruder detected. What is your purpose here? <laughs> Not to worry, Guardian. <laughs> I am just clearing out the pig infestation from your domain. I find this highly unlikely. My spawn resonate your ill intent. <laughs> oh, come on. I didn't take that much treasure. All those who invade the Crystal Domain fall to their greed. As such, you must be destroyed. <laughs> ah, shoot. Commencing combat. So yeah, starting off a Crystal Golem's fight. He likes to shoot Crystal Blasts at you. You can avoid them if you hide here. He will also try to slam you and cause a Crystal Wave. That can kind of easily be avoided. Oh, he also spawns that. Which, if you're, if you're too big, those will easily penetrate you. So it's kind of like a shard shield. Slam the ground. He has one other attack that he hasn't used yet. Yeah, here it is. He summons hover robots. Crystal hovers. Ow. Okay, shooting the crystal rocks again. more robots. Might use the shard shield next. No, he'll just try to slam me. 
gonna fail in doing so. There's so many more robots. More crystal blasts. Oh, now it does the charge shield. Just like summoning those robots. Get the shard shield. I don't even know how many of these robots he can summon at a time, because there's a ton of them now. Activation of the the cool projectile shield that uh, Kira Cryomancer gave me in the last episode. He's always doing that shard shield. You can kind of focus more on the robot, uh, the other robots, rather than just them. Slam. Is there? Crystal blast. There we go! 9,994 damage to the other robots. And we did it. Mother... Corp... Critical... Shutting down... You defeated the Crystal Golem! Very nice. Also, I've kind of noticed that there's also a bug in this fight. like. If you actually go up on these platforms way up here, just to jump all the way over, you can actually skip this boss fight and just go straight to the treasure. So that's kind of a little bug there, because <laughs> skip because the cutscene is what activates the boss fight. Anyway, ooh, that's quite a magnificent looking diamond. <laughs> this must be that crocodile guy I was looking for. <laughs> Beach, here I come. You obtained the ocean diamond. That was the treasure of the, of the mines. So now that we have that, it is time to leave and go back to the village. So yeah, if you want to, you could talk to this thing and have a rematch with the Crystal Golem. But it is now time for us to leave. Alright, now, let's go ahead and head back to the entrance. So a short little secret path should take us right there. All jumps will work. I don't know what it is with these long hallways, but there's a treasure chest full of money! I consider that kind of an extra reward for beating the Crystal Golem. And with that, we should be right at the entrance again. Oh, lever is already activated. Weird. Yeah, we're back here again. So I'm gonna take a rest and call Tori, the Great Bird Man. Ah, ah. I have heeded your call. Let's fly. Ah, 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 ah. Back to the village. So what's kind of funny is Tori kind of reminds me of the Ritos from Legend of Zelda: The Wind Waker. Considering they're also bird people. You rescue one of my cows. This calls for a reward. You like these, right? Another pop mushroom. Yeah, also with these cows here, you can actually jump on top of them and they will give you milk. You can kind of deplete them. I believe each cow only has a certain amount of stamina. Anyway, what we're actually going to do is we're going to head down here and then talk to Key again. How about an upgrade? You know, my tent is pretty adequate, but I think I prefer an actual building to store my wares. If you'd be willing to invest, I'll open more purchasing options. I think 3,000 gold is all I need for the permitting and whatnot. Hmm, that sounds beneficial to both of us. Let me think about it. Yeah, let's do it. Heck yeah. 
Time to move up, Nora. <laughs> I'll start construction and expand my co catalog for the next time you visit the village. But yeah, there is one more thing I should go I should show off before I head off to the beach. Like, if you head over here, you can talk to her, the master of the Arts Guild. Would you like a makeover? Cute or medicine, I can do it all. Yeah, we have all these different kinds of types of garbs, and each one has a different price. Yeah, if you want to, you can change yourself to any one of these. Personally, I think this one's my favorite. Hoopalette. Inspired by a strange musical, Long Beat Hopu Hoopo Avian by Reg Day. Yeah, this is kind of funny. There was also an artist contest to see what kind of colors they could come up with for uh, Munch here. And some designs actually got into the game. Anyway, if you want to go to the beach, you can head over this way, to the left of the village. But before I go there, if you come back to the village, yeah, you know his key has a house now. And his shop is now called the Bloated Dragon. You can actually go in the house too. Oh, that's cool, he has a little munch plushie. Which is actually available for purchase. In real life. And then you can see his options now. Here's the second page. A mushroom radar. So if you use that item, it'll detect whether there's a popper mushroom hidden in the level. Permanently increases attack speed by 15%. Increases movement speed by 15%, and then increases digestion rate and healing time by 30%. Or decreases <laughs> healing time. The Village Coast. <laughs> hey, do you know how to get to the Northern Beach? The Northern Beach? I know where it is, but it's super dangerous right now. The pirates decided to camp there. I know. Supposed to deal with them and their captain. Well, you could only get there by water. I'd take you, but it's gotta be worth my while. <laughs> what do you need? Some gold? <laughs> That's easy enough. Hmm, no. I'm looking for something in particular. There are rumors of a perfectly cut aqua diamond somewhere in the mines. I'm sure that's what those stupid pigs are looking for. I hear like you should have no problem finding it. <laughs> you mean. this? You're pretty rad. Well, I guess I'll use some transportation then. You gained access to the northern beach to World 4. Alright. Yo, are you ready to go? To World 4. <laughs> Just sailing on his belly. And yet he has a ship. Weird. We have arrived. Welcome to the northern beach. Oh wait, I just realized the flag. That's not his ship, never mind. Population, a lot of pirates. This place looks pretty nice. And I wouldn't worry about the pirates much longer. Their time here is numbered. You're a confident one, aren't you? Well, good luck. I'll be here if you need a ride back. And we have a checkpoint. Oh, hello. You're new. Darn it. Can't believe that shark won't join the contest. She has such potential. Oh, sorry. I was just talking to myself. Hi, I'm Sugar. And you are? <laughs> I'm Munch, the guardian of the village to the south. I come to that village every year to watch the annual Bountiful Harvest Eating Contest. Unfortunately, the person who normally hosts the contest isn't around this year due to the chaotic events that seem to be happening. I offer to host in their place. I'm out in the field talent scouting. <laughs> Interesting. First I've heard of it. With all the danger, though, I'm surprised the village is letting an outsider host their events. Well, I may not be from this di I mean, island, but I can be very persuasive. I wouldn't hate for the contest to be cancelled over a silly low crisis. Speaking of which, you want to enter? The town scout didn't have the contestant I wanted, but I do have an open slot. Sure, sounds like fun. Great. I'll head back to the village shortly and begin the preparations. Maybe there when you get the chance. Yeah. Actually, what we can do, I think we have the right capacity, so we're gonna go back to the village, actually. And this guy will take you back for- will take you here and back for free now, now that you've given him the Aqua Diamond, or Ocean Diamond, whatever it's called. Because he calls it Aqua Diamond, yet the game calls it Ocean Diamond. But 
but anyway. So as for where Sugar is here in the village, I believe she's in the top right of the map. So heading up here. Hello, guys. Yeah, she's right here. Hey, Munch. Are you ready to compete in the contest? Let us begin. It's time to start the eating contest. Ooh, we have some other contestants, including Boris. Hello, everyone. Welcome to the 7th Annual Bountiful Harvest Eating Contest. I'm your stand-in host today, Sugar. But enough about me. Let's meet our contestants. First up, Sunblaze Wildfire, the Red Dragon. Tell us a little about yourself. Ooh, what? How did I get here? I smelled tons of food, and now I found myself between two sides of white meat. Meat. <laughs> Next up, King Boris, the boss of World 1. What's up, your majesty? Huh, if I had about this contest before, I'd have won every year. Get ready to lose, you little wimps. Ooh, such confidence. Next, Tori, the Great Birdman. Anything to say to your audience? I, the Great Birdman, have come to secure another victory. As last year's winner, I'll prove that no one can defeat me at any. Well, you heard it from the Great Birdman himself. And last but not least, Munch, the Guardian Plushie. What's your story, little guy? This looks really fun. I'm ready to dig in. You look like you can barely add to a single watermelon. Are you sure you want to do this? <laughs> ha! Don't worry about me. I'm sure you'll be pleasantly surprised. I love seeing confidence in an underdog. We're all eager to see how you fare. Without further ado, let's begin! Eat! We're at the finale, folks. And it looks like we're at a four-way tie. How exciting. Let's see how the contestants are doing. Ugh, I'm so full. Can't eat another bite. Waiter, I'll take my check now, please. <laughs> it appears the great bird man might have indulged too much. Oh, my stomach. <clears throat> well, it looks like they're out of room. Munch seems to still be in the running. So Munch, if you can eat just one more turkey, you will win! Crap! I died! Well, that didn't go as planned. Oh. Yes, you just repaired the doll. <laughs> yeah, that's what happens if you die. You just repair at the last checkpoint, you say that, and yes, it repairs you. Oh, you're not dead. So the villagers are right when they said you'd be back. Did that hurt? I'm a doll, so it doesn't really hurt. It does feel a little weird, though. Ah, I see. Well, I do have some good news for you. Since the contest remained a four-way tie, the village agreed to host a rematch. No one met excuse me. No one met the specifications of consumption to win, so you have another shot. Huh. Well, I think I'm a pass. I'm not sure I'm capable of doing anything better than I did. Hmm. After that showing, I think you're the best candidate to do so. Your form is different from the others, so maybe you could find a way to support more weight. I've seen some extreme eaters on my visits here. I'm sure someone has some secret tricks up their sleeves. All right, I'll ask around. The one you want to ask is Key. Yeah, apparently Key knows all the secrets. It's almost as if he's got the key to my success. <laughs> hey, Munch. What can I do for you? An eating contest? Hmm. Heard of a potion that makes you really hungry after drinking it. 
but I have no idea how to make it. Ah, uh, there's gotta be something. Oh, I know. Maybe the village elder knows about it. He seems to know a lot of th about these kinds of things. Alright, I'll go ask. So now, this is where you want to actually go ask the elder dragon. Mm -hmm. Why, hello, young one. Mm -hmm. How could I be of service? Potion mm -hmm. recipe. Oh, ho, ho, need a contest? Mm -hmm. I know something that might help your eating power become stronger. Mm -hmm. Here's a recipe for an ancient potion that's used to encourage growth. Mm -hmm. It's made with popper mushrooms. It can help you to eat more. Mm -hmm. Oh, wow, thanks. Now you show the potion recipe to Key. Any luck with the elder? <laughs> he gave me a recipe that he thinks may help. What? Let me see here. Oh man, I can totally make this no problem. It does appear that there is a condition though. You need to have a certain fullness threshold for it to even work. You'll need to have a max capacity of at least 650. Once you have that sort, I'll talk to me again and I'll make it. <laughs> Alright, I'll check back when I'm ready. Which is now, because I'm 690. Hey, Munch. What can I do for you? Make the potion. You look ready for your secret weapon. I have it crafted and ready for you. Hope that ends up working out for you. Show him who's boss. Got the Papa Potion! Just the thing you need to win the contest. Alright, so now that we have the potion, we're gonna have another try at this eating contest. Hello everyone! Welcome to the 7th Annual Bountiful Harvest Eating Contest Rematch! Our contestants are ready to give it another go to break the four-way tie. Boris is already eating apples, which is kind of cheating, because they haven't seen it started yet. We already know the drill, and our competitors, so without further ado, let's begin. EAT! And same thing again. It appears we're at the finale, folks. Again. And it looks like we're at a four-way tie! Again! Let's check up on our contestants one more time. Ugh, my gut beat might be smaller than I thought. <laughs> Later, I'm still waiting on that check. <laughs> oh, why do I do this to myself? Like last time, it looks like they're out of room. Munch seems to still be in the running. Again. Munch, you can eat just one more turkey and not explode this time. You will win! You can do it! Hold it in! Uh-oh. Oh, wow! Congratulations! We have a winner! Oh, I keep losing to this pipsqueak! The service is terrible. <laughs> I'd leave without paying if I could. <laughs> well, I'm pretty sure you can. He thinks this is a restaurant. <laughs> I need some rest. No more contests for a while. Give it up for Munch, our new Battleful Harvest Contest Champion! <laughs> so with that, our max capacity is now 790. And now that that's over, let's actually go Explore the beach this time. Hey, Crocodile Man, let's go. So apparently you don't have a name either. I'm gonna call you K. Lumsy. Kinda like from Donkey Kong 64. We're just clumsy. <laughs> Alright, now starting off the beach. We're gonna be dealing with some new enemies. The Nasty Fish Pirates. Yes, fish can be tasty, even if they are sharks. It's also kind of funny when you defeat them, they go, Arr! <laughs> Soft sands. More pirates. They drop money too, quite a bit. Oh, we have another fish pirate, a puffer fish. Oh, I forgot, it's a space bar jump. I can't believe I'm hard, I forgot how to play. Yeah, what the pufferfish like to do is like the act of blow bubbles at you. But you feed them an egg. Oh, dang it! 
He shot it right as he was. Okay. But you can't feed them eggs and they puff up. <laughs> like a real puffer fish. There's like a sentry checkpoint here. Or just someone's secret stash. More pirates. <laughs> yeah, those bubbles. You don't want to hit those, because they are explosive. So yeah, <laughs> it makes them pop up. It just kind of bounces around until you defeat them. <laughs> That's hilarious. We have another checkpoint and some random stranger hanging out on the beach. Gosh, darn those pirates. Ruining my vacation. Hey there! Oh, hey, lizard. You don't look like a pirate. Nope! I'm trying to scare them off the coast. Ah, I see. Well, hopefully you'll accomplish that soon. You seem to be pretty relaxed in such a contested area. I came here for my annual vacation. I'm going to enjoy it, pirates or not. I could do without the non-stop cannonballs firing, though. Hopefully they'll run out soon, but I doubt it. There must be safer locations to tan, though. This is the perfect spot to soak in the rays. You just have to deal with the hand you're dealt. Besides, here is way safer still, better than in the area up ahead. It looks, it looks and sounds like target practice with all the cannon fire. Ah, I guess I should be cautious. Thanks for the tip. So yeah, it's actually kind of warning you of a trap that's coming up ahead. Oh, we have another new enemy. A bubble dragon. Although the game seems to call it a water dragon, even though it's not really water. I believe it will try to suck you up. Yeah, it tries to suck you up if you're in an egg. <laughs> That's the funny thing about eating these eggs, they're very fattening. And also, if you eat an enemy that's eating an egg, they give you a lot of fat content. Okay, I'm gonna try to... Him and I guess that's not happening. <laughs> I was wondering which one I fed it to. Bumper fish. Ow. Dang it. <laughs> it's funny hearing the deflation noise. Almost sounds like a fart. <laughs> You don't want to hit those bubbles. Those bubbles can inflate you pretty easily. So yeah, watch out for bubbles or you'll get too big. Yeah, knocked out the dragon. Mm -hmm. Oh, a swordfish. Hard outsider. He sands me off limits. Spin those scales round and leave before I stick ya. Haha, <laughs> you don't look so tough, you walking knitting needle. <laughs> he be asking for an early grave then. Yeah, if you're too big, he will easily be able to penetrate you with his sword nose. We took care of him. And we have another one. And yeah. As long as you can punch them before they actually do their charge. Because they jump up, spin, and then charge. Rough hustlers. You trying to hustle me? The only thing those shark pirates can do is hit you with their swords. Let's see where the up here. And we have another swordfish. <laughs> Got one. Oh yeah, there's another pop mushroom here. Oh, we have another fish pirate. An orc cannon here. An orca with a hand cannon. He likes to shoot those spike cannonballs at you. Yeah. And he lets out a hearty R. <laughs> well, R right. <laughs> Boo! And now I get this pop of mushroom being guarded by these puffer fish. <laughs> Boy. <laughs> Alright. Back to yep. 
<laughs> so let's go by how they have with their pants and show their underwear a bit. We need to beat them. And then swordfish. A fish with a nose like a sword. <laughs> that feels like playing with a bouncy ball when dealing with the puffer fish. <laughs> All these dizzy pirates. Take you out. Just clean up the pirates a bit. Oh, another ore cannon here. Yeah, you can't punch those cannonballs because they're too big of a target. Too big of a projectile, I mean. <laughs> whale blubber. Because orcas are somewhat whales. Oh, uh, the checkpoint. But it's not a good kind of checkpoint. It means there's a mid boss ahead. And funny thing about this mid boss is that her name is only mentioned in the achievements. <laughs> but here we are. Oh, great. More pirates standing in my way. Hmm, interesting. It appears that infamous plushie has arrived. You sure have made a name for yourself in such a short amount of time. <laughs> and you already should know that I'll be able to pummel my way right past you. Ha ha ha, not this time. There will be no pummeling. Instead, let this be a contest of appetite. Oh, just like the, with the eating contest. Will you be able to deflect my caloric onslaught of my cannon? Or you become a living pillow to add to my collection. Let's find out. Ready? Aim. Fire! Fire! I'll take care of this. So yeah, th this boss, her name is Toria. It's kind of funny, it's just, she's like the only non-fish that's a pirate. They anyway, to defeat her, you had to, like, punch the food back at her. So that she's the one who gains weight and not you. And she also lets pirates some come in during the fight. Although pirates are kind of easy experience points if you want to just go for that. And I highly recommend having the egg skill. That way you, if you get if you eat end up eating too much of the food, then you can just spit out eggs and get rid of the food you have that way. So just keep shooting the food back at him. There's also something else you should notice, as you as you punch more food back at her, the faster her cannon will shoot. She's gotta keep deflecting the food. So yeah, you can already see she's starting to gain weight, her, she's barely fitting into her suit. She's gotta make her do all the eating instead of you. Oh, now she's got Swordfish joining the fight. That would be bad if I eating too much of the food. Come on. Oh. Now she's getting too big. Her platform where she's standing on is starting to break. And her cannon's getting a lot faster now. Also, the eggs can be useful for defeating the pirates that come your way. Which is another reason why I like the egg bombs during this fight. Oh boy, now she's really bringing it on. She's getting pretty big though. Well then, let's see you get even bigger. Oh, great. Seriously, now you're bringing in the Orca Cannon Mirrors. Ow. It's a good thing that food can heal you. Getting pretty big now. Just a little more. Oh boy. Now her can's at maximum power. She's almost done. That is a diet I call death. And the platform is broken. You lose. Uh, uh, I feel so full. <laughs> How does it feel to taste your own medicine? Well, actually, it isn't that bad. 
I'm basically a giant lazy pillow now. Ah, well. Why comes at you fast, huh? <laughs> now, if you'll excuse me, I have a captain to meet. Yeah, sure. Whatever. Boy. Oh, dang it. Boing. <laughs> you can actually bounce on her when she's full like that. But anyway, it seems we made, made it to a checkpoint, so... Now that we've defeated the mid-boss of World 4 and already defeated the boss of World 3, the Crystal Golem, we make quite a bit of progress. I think we're gonna go ahead and end this off here. So, next time on Tribal Hunter, we are going to continue along the beach and go ahead to go fight the Pirate Captain. See you guys on our side.